Welcome to another video, a walk on the wild side, and I'm here in Blackpool. I am on the famous promenade here. Check out the tower behind me. It's just lighting up time. It's around about 20 to 8 on a Sunday evening. The illuminations will be on in a minute, yeah. Uh, but this is a bit of a, a bit of a hasty put together video, this one, because I thought it needed doing. Now, I've done some videos in the past. I've had a few people, you know, because I've got a channel and I do videos. Some people have a pop at me and they send me messages and they troll me. <laughs> so I've, I'm pretty thick skinned, by the way. You know, people can say whatever they want about me. I'm not bothered. It just goes, you know, whatever, you know, but... I've done a few videos in the past where people have probably overstepped the mark a little bit. Those videos have done pretty well, actually, yeah. And there was another... I've got another troll on now, which I thought was worth doing a video on. And um, let's just call him Mr Sainsbury, shall we? Mr Sainsbury from uh, Essex, down there in Essex, yeah. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, it's pretty busy here. Look at this here. Trams, this trams non-stop at the moment. They seem to be going every two minutes. Let me know what you think of the tram service. Is it? Is it? Are they doing any good with the North Station stop, or has it caught the whole thing up? They said they were short staffed the other week as well. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to put the camera down now, and we'll go through some of these messages that I've received from Facebook, not YouTube. I don't think he's replied to me on YouTube, but uh, we'll have a look at the comments. We'll see what he said and uh, let me know what you think. I'll just quickly show you the beach. Look at this. Wow. Tides right out. And I tell you what, it's been so calm this weekend with the winds coming from the east and with the, uh, the Irish Sea. It's like a mill pond. It really is. Anyway, let's check out what this guy's been saying, shall we? Right, okay, I've just put my camera down now and I've got my phone out. So I've got some uh, messages on here from Mr. Sainsbury through Facebook Messenger, which I, the first one I received was in September, end of September last year. Now, if you've ever sent me a message through Facebook or anything like that email, you might know that I don't always get back straight away, if at all, because sometimes I miss them, you know. I mean, I'm quite notorious. If you imagine the amount of messages, I get so many. I get messenger messages, I get emails, I get Instagram messages. Oh, honestly, I get messages from all angles. And it's no wonder that I don't get a chance to see all of them straight away. But I do tend to leave them for a while. And what I do is I read loads of them at once. So that's, that's the way that I work. So I got a message off him and he said, Hi Steve, brilliant videos, watch them every day. We visit Blackpool five, five times a year. Next visit is December the 10th. Stay as always in the Savoy Hotel. So they like the Savoy Hotel. Please do a video from there soon. Looking forward to your life fireworks. And that's from Mr Sainsbury and his wife in Essex. And then a couple of weeks later, because I'd never replied to that, he says, OK, just ignore me, that's fine. So. Yeah, a little bit snarky, you know, because I didn't get back. I've had the same problem before. A couple of, shit, about three years ago, I had a guy from Yorkshire, Harrogate. Yeah, a guy from Harrogate. He was asking me a question about car parks in Blackpool. And because I didn't reply to him within a few days or something like that, he said he was going to knock me out. Well, this isn't quite as bad as that, but it's still, you know, it's a, it's a little bit. But uh, what I want to do now is I want to um, show you an email. Now, I actually got... I can't remember when this email was, but it was definitely after the Holiday Inn video that I did. And I ate breakfast at the Holiday Inn, and he sent me an email through my Walk on the Wild Side email. I'll put it on the screen now. Watching you woof down that breakfast at the Holiday Inn last week was effing horrible. Looked like you ain't eaten for a month. You don't eat fried eggs by stuffing them into your north and south in one go. That's cottony or southern humour but according to him that's humour absolutely disgusting so that was an email um i just wonder whether some people when when they do this sort of thing do they have a problem because i've seen pictures of this guy he's on facebook and i've seen his wife and his wife looks lovely and i'm sure that she wouldn't be like that i'm sure that uh, if she knew he was sending stuff like that, well i hope i hope she would you know she would not like these messages that he's been sending me. He did reply to the 
the messenger, the first, the, the first one I did, this was last week, he said, must be the worst FB person ever. Check this out, it's kicking off in Blackpool. All my catchphrases now. Is all he ever says. And I watched him eating his breakfast, he's gone back to the breakfast at the Holiday Inn again, <laughs> at the new hotel, made me sick, effing animal. So what do you think, does he sound like a nice guy? Mr. Sainsbury, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure if I'd want to meet this fella, to be quite honest. Not, not by the, the wording on his, on his messages here. What do you think? Let me know. Uh, but he doesn't sound like the nicest guy to me. So Mr. Sainsbury uses this profile picture on his Facebook of a very angry man. I think it's from a movie. Is it from Snatch? A really, really angry looking guy. And uh, yeah, I think it suits him. What do you think? Okay, I've just changed the viewpoint a little bit to keep it interesting. So, uh, I put a post on Facebook this morning. It wasn't a normal post, it was a, an automatic post from Instagram. So I put a picture on Instagram of the fireworks that on the switch on, and Instagram posted it to Facebook automatically. So all my friends get to see it. My sister saw it, was one of the people that saw it. Not that many people saw it, but a few did. And he's actually replied to that post. And he put, I'll put it on the screen now, just don't watch him eat anything like an animal. Look at his premier, it keeps going on about this, uh, not premier in, it was a holiday in, with breakfast, animal. And he said that on my post, so my friends can see it, my sister can see it, that sort of thing. Is that, you know, I don't think that's a good thing to do, you know. And I'm, you know, I'm pretty thick skinned, so people can say what they want about me. But when you do stuff like this, I think it goes, it, it's like you're stepping over the line, I think. So that's why I'm doing this video. And you know who I'm talking about, John. Just be, just be thankful that I'm not saying your real name and showing you pictures. So I replied to him, I said, I've seen your troll comments and emails, so I might feature you in a special video. I'll make you a star. There you go. And I think that might have wound it, it might have just it might have got him thinking, you see that. Oh, hang on a minute, he's going to make a video about me. He's got back to me. Love it. I watch you every day, Steve. I think your videos are magic. Just wish I was there. Love them. Keep them coming. Please. Oh, don't take my comments too seriously. My comments to heart. Just my London warped humour or lack of it. Thanks for replying to me. See you soon. He says, I'll buy you a pint if you let me. Yeah. Now, now the set that... You know the guy in the orchard that said he was going to knock me out because I didn't tell him about the car park? He did the same thing. He got back to me, all nicey-nicey. Oh, Steve, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say I was going to knock you out um, and try to, you know, try to make everything all right and all that sort of stuff. So, anyway, uh, sacked him off, did a video about that. So, so no, no. You, <laughs> you're not going to be a friend of mine. <laughs> you're not going to be a friend of mine and you're not going to buy me a pint and I do not want to meet you. Okay, so that's it. So that's it. Um, quick video for you. I, I had to kind of make it today. I thought I'd make it today because he replied to that Facebook comment today and I thought, this guy is not letting up, you know. So I thought, I'm going to do a video about you. So there you go. You know who you are. You're a star. And, and uh, yeah, just think yourself lucky. I haven't put your real name on because um, I wouldn't, wouldn't go that far but uh, yeah so there you go let me know what you think in the comments um, does he sound like a, a nice guy who's just maybe had a few drinks and this is just his way of letting off a bit of steam or does he sound like a complete a-hole <laughs> well, I think it I think it does let me know what you think in the comments uh, but these videos do, do pretty well the map master did one the other day he said yeah keep 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 trolling me keep because the videos that I post about them always do really well so there you go that's it for this video let me know what you think about Mr Sainsbury in the comments and if you like this video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on the next one